how to make a job. You've got, once again, like two options. The first option that you've got is the common option of having a CV, curriculum vitae, where you're going to put your experience, what do you do, why do you deserve that job, or what are you good at so people can hire you. And the second option that you have in, is the, it's what I say is the best option that you have is through recommendation. People that you know are going to help you saying, okay, you know what, I know someone that is hiring, or maybe you can go to my to my to the place where I work and maybe they can hire you and something like that. That actually works better. So wherever you go, try to make friends. Try to connect with people. Connections are the best way to go where you want to be, whether it is with a job or whether it's looking for a place to sleep. Meeting people is going to help you not only with your English, because of course you need to practice, but also is going to help you to live better because it's going to allow you to be some of the places, you know? So in my specific case, I had the opportunity to work in two different places. The first one was a store called Butterfly there in Clarendon Center on the first floor. And I got myself fired. Long story, I'll tell you later. And then an angel came to my life called Sam. And I ended up working where we sold these hoodies. Uh, it, was, it was called Uni Gift of Oxford. It was a souvenir store. And we had everything related with the Oxford University. Everything you can imagine. We had hoodies, sweaters, we had t-shirts, we have, we have pens like this. We have thumbs, we had postcards, with, we had everything, everything you can imagine related to the Oxford University or with the UK experience. Funny t-shirt! We had so many funny t-shirts you can't imagine. And um, I get to be, or at least I hope I was, um, I get to become very good friend with the brother of my colleague, Neil. Um, he's a DJ, uh, Neil Lerner, by the way, if you want to see him, he's like the best one ever. He's a DJ. Uh, the greatest time that I had in Oxford was because of him, with him, th thanks to him. Actually, the very first time in my life that I got drunk was because of him and with him. And we had an amazing time, definitely. What to do in Oxford? So speaking about partying and getting drunk, um, let's talk about that. Oxford, it's not like the greatest city if you're thinking about parties, but it doesn't do it that bad either. I had a very good time over there. There are a couple of clubs where you can go to have fun, very different. It has very good restaurants too, lovely and beautiful race restaurant, one in the castle where I have this amazing dinner but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> not going to talk about what happened with my heart in Oxford. <laughs> but yeah, Oxford is not like the greatest place to party. But if you're someone that just like me, you have fun and enjoy your time and uh, you don't need too much to have fun, like Oxford is ideal for you. It has a very, very good clubs. It has Neil, which is a great DJ. And you can party. You can party and have fun. But during the day, there are many things you can do when, you're in, when you are in Oxford. For instance, you can go to visit most of the colleges and most of the building of the Oxford University, which is an amazing opportunity to know a little bit more the history of this beautiful city, the buildings, everything around it. It's amazingly beautiful. You can also go to the Botanical Garden. You can go punting, which is one of the most famous activity Oxford has for its visitors. Um, you just go through the river and enjoy the tour. 
so you can learn a little bit more about Oxford. And I am getting to the end of this video, of course I am talking about living in Oxford. In Oxford I had the opportunity to meet the most amazing people that I've ever known in my entire life. And I don't want to say their names because I know I am going to forget lots of them, but anyhow I'm going to do it. My teachers, my teachers at the Oxford School of English, they were the best. <laughs> I know they are the best. Greg, Bernie, Sandro, Philip, his wife, um, and of course my principal Peter and and the greatest one, Haida. Uh, he was always with us, he was always listening to us, he was paying attention to anything we needed. Um, he was such a good friend, such such an amazing friend. And speaking about friends, of course my Colombian family. It is almost impossible not to connect in a deep way with the people you know when you are in a different country. And that's what I got when I get to Oxford. I got to build this relationship where I actually felt the people that I was sharing with, they were my family. Um, the greatest one was Maria Alejandra, which was my roommate. I had a roommate, by the way, when I changed, when I moved out. Didn't I mention that I moved out and went to live in a different place? So, okay, I did. <laughs> and I went and I had a roommate and I had the most amazing time of my life with her. She's the funniest person you've ever met. It was Julio and it was Nicole and it was Francia and it was Vanessa and it was Joanna. All my Colombian family and all the people that we knew being over there. It's like it makes it hard to take, to, to realize that you have to come back someday. But you have to come back someday. As I told you at the beginning, I came back to Colombia the 1st of December 2010. It gets me emotional when I remember this because I wasn't ready to come back. And definitely I wasn't ready to say goodbye. So sadly, I took the decision of not saying goodbye to anyone because I thought that if I didn't do it <laughs> sorry <laughs> I thought if I didn't say goodbye to the people that I love then it was going to be easier for me to go back to Oxford someday and it still break my heart I don't know whether they are still living in Oxford or not. I don't know whether they remember me or not, but I want them to know that I remember every single thing. Rosa, I didn't, I didn't mention Rosa. I know I remember every single thing that I lived when I was in Oxford and that I still dream about Oxford like every week. <laughs> Um, I wish I could come back and see everything again and I don't know to visit every one of you guys um, I miss you so much I miss, I miss Oxford so much so please if you have the opportunity to go to Oxford or anywhere you're thinking to go because you want to live a different experience in your life or you want to go in an exchanging experience do it do it. If you had the chance, don't hesitate. Living in another place, living in another country, knowing a different culture, that is going to be the most amazing thing you ever, ever get to do. So don't think about it. I know that soon we're going to be able of living our lives close to what we were used to. When that day comes, let's all do the commitment of living and traveling and go and see the world. That's what we all should be doing. So this is it. 
this is my experience living in Oxford I hope you guys like it and if you did please thumbs up and leave me a comment if you've got any questions uh, please 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 let me know if you want me to do more videos in English I would love to uh, once again I apologize for all the mistakes that I know I am making and by the way go visit my Instagram and Facebook account which is at Andrea Sierra TV and subscribe I'll see you guys soon